Hi, welcome to the Spirit Code's first training session for basic muscle testing. So if you would like to look into some more detailed, complicated methods for muscle testing, um, Dr. Nelson has a book called The Emotion Code that is fantastic that will teach you multiple different methods. Today I'm going to show you two, and these happen to be our favorite methods. All right, so my husband likes to use this one where he holds his hand to the side and he puts pressure, applies pressure. Just simple strength testing. All right, and my favorite is I use my hand and I put out my finger, you're not really, here we go, this is our main finger we're testing, is my right index finger. I'm using my left hand over top and my pinky is going to be applying pressure on my index finger. Okay, simple as that, nice and strong, right? Okay, so the idea of this, I was taught through my uncle, who is a chiropractor, my great uncle, actually, and, um, and he was practicing Dr. Versendahl's um, um, CRA. And, um, and so he showed me when I was young, when I had a brain tumor, that um, when I held my arm out to the side, such as this, he was able to put pressure on my arm to talk to my body, communicate with my body, find out what was sick. And so the, the idea is to find the underlying cause of your illnesses. So what we're going to do today with this basic lesson is first I would like you to try these two different methods. One where you're holding your arm out to the side because remember we're testing ourselves here. All right. And then once we, we um, develop this technique a little bit further, we can move on. So I want you to, um, I have a bunch of food here that we're going to test. So I want you to pick some food around your house and maybe some supplements, prescriptions, um, hair products, deodorant, a little bit of everything because of course your skin is, is also important as to how much it's going to be absorbing. So we are going to just test my strength. We're not even going to ask any questions. We're just going to test my strength on different food items. So this is some rye bread from Natural Grocers. It's a nice healthy brand, my favorite. We're going to test my strength. Nice and strong. Okay, simple and basic. I don't really need to go into any further questioning because We've already got my answer. My body wants this. It's good for me. It'll keep me strong. All right. So almond butter. And this is some of my favorite supplements for, for um, peanut butter. So I'm going to hold this in front of me and I'm going to focus on it. And I can either hold it, but I may run out of hands being that I'm testing with both hands. <laughs> so I'm going to test my strength. Okay, I'm not as strong as I expected. So Dr. Nelson teaches us that you either get a yes or a no. Now when you get a no, no matter how hard I press, my finger is, there's just, there's nothing I can do to resist. No matter how weak I press, my finger just cannot resist. My strength is low. But when I receive, like I am with this, with this almond butter, a sort of, what I'm going to then do is I'm going to start asking some further questions. I'm going to put that off until later, so I'm going to set this aside, all right? And I'll explain that to you in a little bit. So I have some hemp seeds, and I'm going to test my strength on the hemp seeds. Nice and strong. Now I can go a little bit further and I can start testing the amount, and I'm also going to set that aside for later on in this video. I have a mango nice and strong. Now when you start using this more often in your own home, before you eat anything, you can test your body to see if your body wants it. This is going to help you to understand food intolerances, food allergies, um, if your body is able to digest certain things, if you really are gluten intolerant, if you really are lactose intolerant, or maybe it's just the specific brands that you're choosing also. So you can get really, really uh, detailed with what you're doing. And quite often you'll find me at the grocery store, muscle testing in the, um, in the aisles. So this is flaxseed. And once again, nice and strong. So I'm gonna move on. Goldfish crackers, right? I've got kids, so I've always got goldfish crackers in the house. Weak, super weak. That does not mean you can't eat goldfish crackers, and it does not mean I cannot eat goldfish crackers. It just means that's not going to strengthen my body, and my body is reacting negatively to something that is in the ingredients. All right? So I've been vegetarian for a long time, but I have steak in the house for the kids and for my husband. So I'm going to test myself. Very, very weak. Now, here's something I'm going to kind of throw into the mix. My husband is here, Mayor Paul. Hello. Hi. This is Paul. 
Okay, I am going to do a little bit of proxy testing. And this is where I am actually going to be testing him through me. And this is also something that if you go see a chiropractor who does muscle testing, that they'll put your child on your belly because they may not be able to test an infant and they'll test through the mother. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm making a connection with Paul and I'm going to actually test him and see is this good for him? Does his body want this? Okay. Just basic. Is it going to make him stronger or weaker? Oh, all right. It made him stronger, right? And I'm holding it, but yet, let me hold that again, sorry. When I'm testing it for him, he's nice and strong. So he can digest this. This is good for him. It just wasn't good for me. All right, so you can see how not all products are going to be thrown off the market. All right, so here's an Arbon Fizz Stick. Making me weak. And I noticed when I used it, it made me weak also. But Paul, will you come back here? He ended up starting using these, and he loves them. And so let's go ahead and test him and see if these are good for him. Maybe they just weren't good for me. Paul, is this good for you? Yes. Of course it is. All right, so look at this. When I'm testing the same fizz stick for Paul, I'm getting a nice strong reading. All right. So I have some Swiss Miss hot chocolate, and I'm going to do the same thing. Is this good for me? I, well, sorry, I haven't taught you how to ask questions yet. Just the basic, if it's making me stronger or weaker, it's making me weaker. All right. I'm going to move on to my favorite, my favorite veg, um, vegan meat or vegetarian meat, and it's absolutely making me stronger. Okay. So these are going to be your basics for testing foods in the house. Now, I had a couple of different things that I was putting off. Remember the almond butter? So something that we were asking ourselves is, why am I not stronger with this almond butter? Because I know this is a, it's a good brand. It's in a glass container. So that's something else to ask yourself. If you're getting a no, could be in the container. So let's say I went through all of these and everything wrapped in plastic, I got a no. Doesn't necessarily mean the food, but it could have been the plastic. So you can start kind of going through some more of the details about what your body really is reacting to. Um, typically you're not going to have a bad reaction to plastic, although we do have some people who have troubles with the, the metals. So, um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my, my body some questions this time. All right. So I'm going to go through this and while I'm focusing on the salmon butter and I'm muscle testing myself, I'm going to see, is my body able to digest the salmon butter? Hmm. Is my body able to absorb the salmon butter? No. Okay. Does my body want the salmon butter? Yes. Is the salmon butter good for me? Mm. Okay, so we just learned a couple different interesting facts about my body, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to focus less on the food and then I'm going to focus more on, um, on my system to see if it's my stomach, my intestines, um, and kind of see what other energies. And this is when we kind of go deeper into the energy work. And then that would be something I would just probably avoid a little bit more until my body becomes a little bit stronger and healthier and I can digest it. So with the flaxseed, what you're going to do now, and this is this will actually bring us into the next video where we're going to be testing supplements and um, prescriptions and medications and over-the-counter and deodorants and all that. So we're going to test my body and find out how much a day my body wants this because flaxseed is going to be a little bit more of a medical um, a medical need and a little bit less of just plain old food because this is just like the, the hemp seeds. They taste great, but a lot of times it's used for um, for medicine because of the omega-6. Okay, so the serving size is two tablespoons. So I'm going to ask my body, all right, does my body need more than two tablespoons of this flaxseed a day? Does my body need more than four tablespoons? Does my body need more than six? No. Does my body need, oh sorry, I had my hand out of the way. Does my body need, let's just make it easy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what I did here, I was pushing as I was saying the number, or I was pushing just after I said the number to find out exactly how much my body needs. So my body needs one tablespoon, two, three, four, five. So it went weak on five, so that means I need four tablespoons. And I can get more basic with what times of day, how much at a time. Does my body need two tablespoons at a time or one tablespoon at a time? 
So that is the conclusion of our first video on some simple basic testing. Please watch the next one where we talk about some over-the-counter medications. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.